All right, beautiful Burgundian fans, welcome back to your equipment guide for helmets for the game Burgundine, the Legend of Renarzia. So let's get into it today. Let's talk about this. Let's uh, see what they all do and see which piece of gear could be better than another piece of gear. So let's go ahead and talk about this. All right, so the first step, we're going to go ahead and equip the magic helmet. All right, so you can see the stats on the right that have changed there. Uh, we gained. 10 MP, 3 defense, so that's pretty much just what it does. Magic Helm indicates some MP, so the names actually do coincide a little bit with what they do. Alright, so let's put on the Pairing Helm. Looks like our MP is going to go back down. Our CP value goes down here on the right, of which you can see this right here. It's going down. Apparently it's not as good as the Magic Helm, but let's see what it does. Okay, so... This one has three defense also, but it has a shield block rate of 3%. Now, I would have to argue that this would be better than the Magic Helm. Now, the reason I'd have to argue this would be better than the Magic Helm is because knights have a percentage to block with their shield block. This increases their shield block percentage. So this increases the chance of them blocking with their shields, just mitigating damage halfway altogether. I would say because of that, because of the sake of being a knight and a paladin, this would be better. So I would argue that the pairing home would be better than a magic home, but you let me know in the comments down below what you think. But before we go ahead here and we uh, get through all of these pieces of gear here, please uh, definitely like the video or subscribe, one of the two. That'd be awesome. And uh, let me know your experience with this game so far. Okay, let's go ahead and cover the Wisdom Helm. So this one is going up again, and uh, three defense, three intelligence. That's pretty good. Uh, I'd have to say it's about on par with the Pairing Helm. If not, maybe the Pairing Helm is a little better, because being a tank in this game, especially with the way the game runs and the way the game plays, being very physical heavy, I would say that Shield Block would be still so much better. But you let me know if you think I'm wrong on that. I don't mind. Uh, having a conversation about that kind of stuff. All right, so let's go on to the command helm. Magic pool goes up, magic pool 15. So your magic pool is your rune pool from the previous game of Brigandine, the Legend of Forcina or Grand Edition right here. So magic pool is rune pool now. Hit points go down though. So you'll, you'll, you'll see that this does happen sometimes with some gear here. Sometimes some gear will have some negative effects. Maybe agility will be lessened, maybe MP, maybe your HP. Um, I'd have to say, unless you're really, really confident with this knight, this is a uh, kind of a tricky piece of gear to put on you. If you're coming up to a really tough fight and you need as much hit points as you can, maybe you don't want to equip this piece of gear. So this uh, combat power... I mean, it can give you a little more magic pool for maybe an extra monster, but it's still just 15 points. So really, you're looking at probably just an upgrade for a monster, if that. Um, not much else you can get with 15, maybe a ghoul, but I wouldn't really co consider that like awesome or anything. <clears throat> okay, so did we cover this one here? Yeah, we covered that one. All right, so we're going to go up to Steel Helm here. You can see the CP value goes up really, really well. And 8 Defense, I can see why that's actually at the top here. And it makes sense, because given 8 Defense to a Paladin or to a Knight or whatever, that needs a defense because it's going to be in a front line, it's going to be tanking against a lot of enemies, this is going to make a lot of sense. So, Shield Blocking aside, uh, this could be probably the better one. Because, yes, increasing your shield blocking percentage is great, but increasing your defense would be better overall because then you're protecting yourself against every single attack versus just the few times you might shield block. You might shield block a lot, and you might shield block a little bit. It depends on the, the RNG of the game, really. So let's go ahead and uh, you know move on from here. So, that, so if you're new to this game, too, another thing I have to also include is that there are three tiers of gear. There is the gold gear with three stars, the purple gear with two, and the white gear with one star. That all determines the rarity and the power, the strength, the defense, all the goodies that come with it. So 
Uh, the closer you are to yellow, the better. So we're going to move into purple gear here. And this is the second tier. So let's put on the Swift Helm. You can see the mobility actually goes up. <clears throat> so you'll see with some of these gear that uh, you'll actually get an extra mobility. And what that means is that you move one extra space. And this one also has evasion of 5%. So I'd have to say this is a pretty good piece of gear and if you just like to be able to move in to places that are harder to get to this could really help you out with that it really really can okay cool so preferably for myself and have and personally for me having played the game for a long time this would be one of my go-to pieces because I get to move a little bit further than normal uh, five spaces is a pretty decent length to move and I would prefer to move a lot farther if I have the choice. Even though, uh, unless I needed a really solid super tank, then I would go with the Steel Helm or with more shield blocking percentages for this knight. It really depends on what this helmet's for. The helmets could be for other types of knights that don't have shield blocking things and all that and uh, then you'd have to like calculate and figure out what would be better for them. Okay, so let's go up and uh, put the Ice Helm on. You can see the mobility is going to go down to the normal four spaces. And uh, other stats are going to change. And so what is different about the Ice Helm in the second tier is you get a blue orb here. Look at this. You're going to have a blue orb added to your defense. So if you're up against Snakes and you're up against Stella and you're up against Ru Rubino and uh, blue things like that, blue dragons, whatever, you'll have a little better time fighting them because you'll have a blue defense to, to offset their their uh, blue attacks. So that's pretty good. You get 10 MP, which is quite good too. And you get five magic resistance. So this is a little bit different than physical. This will help you guard against magic attacks, which is pretty good because uh, knights have a decent intelligence, but, you know, could be better. Uh, really, mostly knights are just built upon... Uh, fighting off physical defense as you can see here uh, if we look at this 140 to what is now or sorry to what is 107 intelligence so you can kind of see there's a difference there knights are really you put them in the front line they defend against dragons they defend against snakes they defend against all kinds of things and hopefully they last depending upon how you play and uh Really, as long as there's not a lot of magic dealers there, they should be pretty good because defense, physical defense in this game is king. I have to say that. I really do. Okay, so let's move on from Ice Helm. Let's check out whatever is next here. So we're going to move up to the Sacred Helm. So what could Sacred be? Sacred is holy, right? So we get a holy defense. Now, what I've heard before is stacking all of your dots, if you have the same kind of dots, over stacking them is one of the best ways to make a really good knight or monster. And I'm starting to think that that's probably the case. But besides that, you get a defense boost of 5 and a shield block rate of 5%. This is probably one of the best pieces of gear for the middle of the road class, for the purple gear. Defense and shield block rate plus. It you just this is awesome for a knight. This is one of the best things you can have. And so if you're going up against like Rudo, which obviously Kaya wouldn't be, but if you're playing the alternate chapter mode and you go up against Rudo, you could tank his clean military rule quite well. Um, even if you go up against a holy dragon or you go up against something like very strong with you know physical attacks this could really help you as a knight so let's move on from here pretty good piece of gear right okay let's move up to the black helm so is it going to be any different looks like it's a little bit different here so we're actually getting a black orb defense which could help us if we're fighting against like tim or something like that uh defense is at six so it's a little yeah, I think it's a little better, right? Uh, attack is at four, so it's giving us an attack boost, and so we don't we don't retain the shield block, but we get accuracy. 
So this would be some this would be a piece of gear if you wanted a little more of an offensive knight or if you just needed a little more accuracy. Let's say your knight is just in the 50s for agility and agility does determine your accuracy to a huge degree and you just need a little more accuracy this black helm could help with that but if you're going to go up and fight against something that is a white dot giving yourself a black dot kind of gives you a disadvantage although you are getting six defense plus two so you got to think about these things but obviously this would be one of those things would be a little bit uh, a little bit better in some cases for a knight that has bad that has bad accuracy that does miss sometimes this would be a good one for it so all right let's check out the next piece of gear here on a list okay so we checked out sacred the black helm and then what the general's helm is general helmet okay general's helm okay general zao's chicken i'm sorry no a general's helm here uh we have five defense okay not as good as the black helm right because i think that was that was six right mm, yeah i think it was six but it does give you magic pool plus 20. so if you are looking to incorporate another monster heavy monster or maybe a big upgrade like a I think Phoenix upgrades are 25, but some upgrades, like I think Lizard Lord is 20. Uh, some some of these upgrades are quite heavy, so this could really help you out with that, especially with uh, the fact that some knights don't have uh, some knights. Some knights don't have a really good magic pool. This one does, but even still, if you wanted to get up to like 600 magic pool, you can do it. You just gotta you connect all the dots first and uh you know con conquer the continent you get free reign time to do whatever quest your quest your uh, heart's content you can get this so this one is a special piece of gear really because you're getting defense but really it's just kind of helping you with your magic pool to get more monsters so if you want the general's helm that'll be what that'll be that'll be good for you all right so let's go on to the gold tier system here right Let's do this. Okay, so I've got the Justice Helm on Rudo. I'm going to unequip it and put it on Kyle. Now, what does the Justice Helm do? Justice Helm gives you two blue dots for defense. That'll help you up against snakes and that sort of thing. Hit point boost of 30. Great 20 defense. This is probably one of the best gold pieces of gear in the game. 30 magic pool you can't go wrong with that command range of plus one and and on top of that inflicts it or what it should say is uh it gives you hit point recovery in the a status range and it goes um it, it goes from uh c b a and an s so this is the second best hit point recovery here so it's going to give you hit point recovery of a so you're probably want to have this equipped of one of your best knights here and uh justice helm is one of the absolute best because of all these stats here now it doesn't have a shield block added to it but it gives you hit points defense magic pool command range makes you a super good leader now you have to be careful if you're up against mandrakes and centaurs because you have two blue orbs so you're a little weak to that but anything else that is blue that is attacking you you'll have a more solid defense against okay all right let's move on let's check out whatever is next here the flash helm okay so we get so the flash helm is kind of like what we were just looking at with the command range except for we're green dots uh hit points just plus 10 defense is plus five evasion plus seven honestly it's it's decent it does give you a little more command range it'd be for a knight that has like command range of three probably this would be a good one for that um i would probably say so but you tell me what you think it does have green dots for defense so if there's anything red out there they might get crushed a little bit easier but then again it does have evasion it does have hit points and defense so it's looking a little more like evasion tank kind of stuff. This looks like something you probably would give to Toby. 
I think Toby could benefit from this quite well. But uh, let me know what you think, all right? All right, Flash Helm. Let's go on to the Lightning Helm. Okay, so Lightning Helm. Right here we've got... Um, which actually this... Uh, I forgot to tell you, but Kyle did have a command range of three. So he could have benefited from that, you know, in consideration there. Uh, Lightning Helm. Blue dots again for defense. MP plus 10. HP plus 10. Defense plus 10. Intelligence plus 10. Quite a solid piece of gear. Nothing screaming awesome, but pretty well rounded. And so you could put this on any night, really, and uh, feel pretty confident. So it's a pretty decent piece of gear. Not the best, obviously, but pretty well-rounded. Gives you a lot of stuff. Hit points, intelligence, MP and defense. Quite solid. Quite solid. All right, let's go up to... Did we do... I think we did the... Yeah, we did the flash one. All right, the Inferno helm here. Okay, so this one... Red Orb defense and a magic pool of 30... This might be the best one for Magic Pool. But we'll have to check out the other uh, pieces of gear as well. Really, that's all it gives you. So if you want the Inferno Helmet, it's just because you want another monster or another monster upgrade. For the most part. That's pretty much all this gear is going to really give you. Okay? Unless you really want Red Orb for defense for some reason. Maybe you're going up against um, Ancient Dragons. That could be a good thing. So really, it doesn't give you a lot, but uh, yeah, there you go. So it's kind of like the General Zhao's Chicken Helm. You know, it gives you a little more magic pool to play with for other monsters and stuff. All right. All right, we looked at uh, we looked at Lightning Helm, right? Yeah, we looked at that one. Okay, Obsidian Helm. Now, the, helm, the helms in this game, there's a lot of helms. It's funny. Okay, so we put on the Obsidian Helm. Obsidian means, well, Obsidian, black. Uh, we get the purple orbs for, you know, dark defense. Hit points plus 20, quite solid. Defense plus 7, quite solid. This one's really if you're just going up against him. You know, you're going up against Stella. You get some black orb defense. It'll kind of help you out in those fights. Other than that, you know, it's, it's all right. It's all right. But as we can see, there's other ones that are probably better. Okay. Okay, and Forbidden Helm, the last one we'll cover here today. And uh, this one is pretty awesome, I gotta say. It's it's kind of like the Justice one. Gives you White Orb defense, hit points, you know, defense, 7 defense right there, and inflicts HP recovery of A. So I'm going to go ahead and check this out real fast just to let you know what A recovery is because we've got two pieces of gear that do that. But um, let me go into checking on them here, and you'll get to see what this actually says. So, recovers 5% of max hit point at the beginning of each turn. 5% of your max hit point, right? So what is what would that be? 5%. Well, 10% of that would be 78, but then you cut it in half. And half of that would be how much you'd get at the beginning of every single turn here. So here's 10%. Right there, 78. So you take 78, divide it by 2, and that's what you'd get. Okay? All right. Okay, so we pretty much looked at everything here. I hope that uh, you enjoyed it. hope you got something out of it. Uh, definitely know definitely let me know down in the comments down below uh, what you think about this and uh, yeah I'd like to know what do you think is the best helm in the game here right now is it the justice helm or is it the forbidden helm because one has one thing and one has another right <laughs> so I don't know I, th I think maybe the justice helm might be a little better but with the forbidden helm you get to keep your white orb dots. Although, magic pool and command range, those are big ones, and you lose some defense here with the Forbidden Helm, you still get to keep the uh, Inflicts HP recovery of A. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I don't know. Oh. 
So, all right, everybody, to keep this short, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. But I have some other videos where I have equipped all of the pieces of gear. So if you want to know what an all-star gear bonus is, uh, equip every piece of gear that is the same color. So do all white for one of them, then all purple for one of them, and then all gold gear for one of them. So, you know, try to do that. You'll see the differences of the bonuses. The bonuses are typically between 5, 7, and 10. And some other stats do change around depending upon the type of gear that you have equipped. So check that out at some point at your leisure. But just to keep this video short, definitely like the video or subscribe. That would help the channel grow. That would put a smile on my face. And, uh, you know, definitely leave me a comment if you want to talk about this game or any other aspect about the game. I don't mind having a fun conversation. So I'll see you in the next guide video. And the next one we'll go over will be... Let's see what we're going to go over here. Next one we will go over will be the gauntlets. And then we'll finish off with the hats. Okay, so that's what we'll do for this set here. You can check this out in the playlist guide that I have. You can just go and check in the playlist um, for the guide section here. I put the, most of these in the help, help and guide um, playlist of videos. Uh, and so you'll get to see that there. Plus, I also have a bestiary, too, if you want to check out all the monsters in the game. You can go there and check that out as well. Other than that, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video or LP. Take care.